there, there are just fruit trees everywhere. And there's huge banana trees and huge mango trees and huge like avocado trees and there's a ton of other fruit names that I don't know, like jocotes and mamones, and they have all these different fruits that because the soil is so fertile, they just grow. Like people will eat a mango, throw the seed, and in like a year or two, there's like a massive mango tree. And that's like not even a joke. They have these humongous trees and they have fruit trees that grow so quickly because the soil is so fertile. So it's like it's super cool. It's awesome. So we'd just be walking and like a mango would fall off of a random like mango tree. You just pick it up and eat it. They eat lots of meat, specifically chicken. There's like a saying down there, a house without chickens or chicks is without grace in God's eyes. And it was like, it's like, whoa, it's like, that's kind of weird, but it's just every house has chickens. They all have chickens because they wait for the chickens to lay eggs. So there's other chickens and little chicks running around and then they kill the chickens and eat them. So they always have chickens and there's always uh, chicken. Like they make tons of chicken soup with like the whole chicken in there. So you'll get like a chicken leg or like the head and like the eyes or like, uh, it's just crazy. They eat tons of fish as well. And they like leave the eyes in. So you're like poking out the eyes and eating them. And like, you just like pick all like the meat you can off of it. And like, they don't take any of the bones out. Like you just, they like, don't really like gut them either. Like you just kind of eat the fish as is, which is like cool. It was awesome. On holidays, they'll eat like chicken sandwiches. That's what they eat. They call them panes con pollo. And you're like, okay, it's like a chicken sandwich. And so they'll make these huge subs and they'll just load them with chicken. And sometimes they'll even throw turkey in there. So you're just like, what? It's like not really a chicken sandwich. They'll throw turkey in there and then they just put tons of lettuce on it and like tons of radishes and tons of carrots. So this thing is just this massive sub. I mean, it puts Subway and Blimpies and everything to shame. And then they douse it in this like chicken gravy thing that they make. And it is the most delicious thing in the world. You know, when I first heard it, I was like, okay, well for Christmas, we're going to eat chicken sandwiches like okay cool but like oh my gosh it was delicious it, they're so so good we'd always like have a fanta there like orange fanta that's like the only fanta they have but it's delicious because it's made with like cane sugar or something outside of the states so it's way better than the fanta here i came back and tried it and i was like this is disgusting i don't even like it in front of a lot of stores any bank any utility water electricity um and and and, and just in front of almost every single store there is a an armed security guard with like a sawed off shotgun or like a machine gun and then there's soldiers constantly patrolling the streets right they chop off uh they, they like replace all of their s's with j's so to say like que paso which means like hey what happened or like what's up they uh they would say, que pajo. They, they just like don't pronounce it. It's almost just like air coming out. Like, oh, que pajo. They have what's called Spanish pig Latin, uh, at least in El Salvador. And what they do is they, they'll take a word and after a vowel, they'll put a certain like consonant or group of consonants in there and then they'll repeat the vowel. So to say, que paso, que che pacha socho. And so it was like they used it. So if you're speaking it really fast, then no one else could understand you. Outside of the city, they use what's called mototaxis. So they're taxis and they're red and three-wheeled and you just kind of flag them down and, and they'll just take you wherever you want. You're gonna find that a lot of stores, like a lot of houses are stores. They have two parts of the door, one's uh, the metal frame and the other part's the metal door. You can open the metal door and then you still have that metal frame with the bars and you can look into their house and see all the things that they're selling. You're gonna find toilet paper normally, like everybody eats beans, so you're gonna find bags of beans. They have candy and chips. Chips is a huge thing down there. They have different varieties that I've never seen before. If there's a young man that crosses into another territory and that gang that's in that territory does not know them, they'll assume that they're from a rival gang. And so that's when there's problems. And so um, it's very common that young men are not allowed to cross from one territory to another if they are not known. Their most common dish and what they're most known for is called pupusas. And pupusas is basically you take corn flour and you make a dough out of it and you put cheese in it. And that's the basic pupusa. You put cheese in it and you put it on a pan 
and if you want to mix it up, and there's lots and lots of kinds. You can put in beans, they put in something called, they do revueltas, and so that's um, beans with pig. They also do crazy ones where they'll put carrots in it, they'll put, um, so there's a garlic one where they mix garlic with cheese, they will do jalapenos, they'll do shrimp, and so there's just this crazy variety of pupusas that are all so good. I love pupusas. So you're gonna find pupuserias where they make pupusas, like on every corner. Everybody makes pupusas down there because it's how they make their living. Um, and so like, it doesn't matter where you are, you're gonna find a pupuseria and you're going to eat pupusas. There's no way you're gonna get through without making, without eating pupusas. And definitely if you're in the towns like I was, you're gonna make pupusas at least a few times. Crazy foods, you can find them, but they're not typical. Sometimes they eat iguana down there. I never did, I never had anyone make iguana. And then sometimes they eat possum. But again, I never ate possum, so it's just like something that I heard people would eat. There are so many birds, and there's obnoxious loud birds, and certain seasons there's locusts, and they're giant. They're like this big. They don't do anything, but they do hop up sometimes and scare you. Um, certain areas there's bats. In the rainy season, there's lots of toads everywhere. So if you don't, you're not scared of toads, it's not a big deal. But I've had lots of companions that don't like toads, and it's kind of funny. Cockroaches is a common thing just because it's humid. But the cool thing is definitely the birds. They're really obnoxious and loud, but they make cool sounds. Like it's like being in a tropical forest because I guess that's basically what El Salvador is anyway. But normally you're just gonna find the typical brown ones that make cool sounds, but you will sometimes, rare cases, find a toragos or like other colorful birds. And so that's actually really cool.